Hey there, it's Kyle with Dirt Bike Channel. Today on this video, I'm gonna be talking about clutching while shifting. Do you have to do it all the time? Are you gonna hurt your bike? What should you be doing? Let's talk about it a little bit on this ride. You know, something kind of cool that I've been focusing on today. Um, I always love riding with smart people. So Scott, my buddy, and Tyler, they, They've been telling me, hey, why are you clutching when you're downshifting? It's a constant mess transmission. You don't need to clutch on the downshift. In fact, you don't need to clutch on the upshift. Tyler was at a uh, Shane Watts riding school recently and vindicated what Scott was telling me based off of his knowledge of transmissions and the way your dirt bike trannies work and the clutches work and verifying that through uh, motocross and dirt bike mechanics and now getting it validated by people like Shane Watts is that your clutch is for modulating power. You do not need to use your clutch to shift. So here I am, I'm shifting down, I'm just stomping on it, I'm not clutching it. It's such a force of habit for me to clutch on the upshift. I've been doing that, but you don't have to. You can just, if you if it's, if it's you wanna shift under power, you can. It's a little harder to sh upshift. See, there's a downshift, just stomping on it. No clutch, upshift, I clutch there. But you don't have to, you can actually just roll off the throttle a little bit. That takes the pressure off of the drive plates and you're able to just make that shift. See, that was a downshift with no clutch. Then I got on the clutch to modulate the power around the corner, but that way I can shift down a little sooner if I want to. Um, just make some of those things a little quicker and, and then you don't have to, you know, you're not, you can, you can downshift into a corner without, you know, any clutch. It makes it a little quicker. Anyway, just something I've been thinking about on today's ride a lot. Those nice people were just telling us about the uh, llamas that they had there on the trail, just warning us if we came back down that way. We were very respectful and like, you know, do we need to shut off the bikes? And he's like, no, 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 they're fine. I just wanted to let you know I got llamas up in here. We're like, okay, cool. So uh, you meet some interesting people out there. Nice people. Um, but kind of going back to this uh, clutching, um, obviously this footage was shot um, actually three months ago today because I'm, I'm recording this on what? December 3rd uh, this ride happened on like September 1st or 2nd or something like that and every ride that I've gone on since I've really been paying attention to this a lot and I've I've basically pretty much stopped using the clutch on you know a lot of my downshifts because it's not necessary and it's been kind of liberating I'm also upshifting a lot without the clutch now if you're under power um, using the clutch it really does help you get the bike to slip into gear all you have to do is roll off the throttle and and the bike will slip in gear but if you if you give a little stab of the clutch then it's easy easy to shift up or down um, but the downshifts i i've never i haven't really needed to sh to clutch when i'm shifting down every once in a while muscle memory will take over a lot of times i'm shifting in a corner anyway and so i'll be clutching you know because i come into the corner and i'll be clutching to slow down and, and maybe get on the brake so I don't kill the bike. So I'm not saying I never clutch when I shift down, but I've been doing much, much less of it. And, you know, it's kind of cool because it's just one less time. Every time you do that, it's one less clutch movement with your finger. And so it just saves the strength in your hands for when you actually, you know, do need to use your finger to modulate the clutch. So I think this will, I think this is a tip that will help a lot of people, especially you guys with the heavier clutch poles is like, you know, use the clutch to modulate power. You don't have to use your clutch to shift all the time, and it's not helping you much anyway. Uh, and this is information that I've gotten from dirt bike mechanics and dirt bike racers and riders. Um, and so, take it to heart. I mean, 
there will be some people out there that think, oh, you're damaging your transmission by, you know, you're going to grind gears off by doing this. Um, and my response to that is, well, this is what motorcycle mechanics are telling me. And that's what these transmissions are built for. So it's been a really fun thing to kind of think about. And I was, I was, I was on a ride yesterday and I was just thinking about how much, uh, how liberating it is not to have to pull the clutch every time I want to shift. And it makes, it makes the shifts faster and easier a lot of times. Can't be it. No, it's too close. But it looked like a good spot to let everyone regroup. 